Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi and we are in the series that is e-book of radiography. In this video, we are going to see a shoulder joint projections. Shoulder joint has got basically two projections. One is AP and second is axial and there are different ways in which both can be taken. We are going to see in this series what are the types in which or what are the methods of taking these radiographs, what are the advantages of each method and what are the anatomical structure we can see in it. We should also see what are the indications and also we should see what are the contraindications which stands good for the contraindication of uh, radiation. Now we will go to the details of radiography projections of the shoulder joint. It is a part of our website which is basically on imaging which has got all the, the details about the imaging modalities like CT, MR. So also there are different type of diseases, different type of procedures, different type of pathologies which are covered in it and it gives extensively idea about these diseases and about the disease patterns. I initially want to disclose the most of the material is from the teaching material of our department. It is either freely downloaded from the net which is free of cost without royalty free and they are only used in this series or the one which has got or which are prepared by our departmental artist or by the departmentally. It has also got the x-rays which are totally ours and they are used for the teaching purposes only. We acknowledge with thanks those who are contributing for this project. This is mainly a radiological educational program meant for the technology boys as well as those who are aspiring to be a radiologist. They should know radiography because a good radiography is a base for the proper interpretation when we are going to interpret it. So radiography is a radiation modality. A due respect has to be given to the radiation since it has got benefit but also it has got lot of side effects also. So if we care, if we take a care or if a care is taken by a technologist, there will be minimization or side effects and it is always tried by a technologist that he will reduce the side effects, he will protect the patient, he will also protect patient's relatives who are inside by requesting them to wait outside and also he will protect the uh, staff working there from the radiation so that a maximum effect can be achieved without side effects. A strict discipline and precaution must be observed and should be followed what technician instruct in this room. So principle of radiation protection which a technician follows is a distance because radiation follows in a square law then he gives a appropriate radiation by reducing the exposure timing so that patients will be benefited and they will not have any harmful effect of the radiation. It will fall in the maximum permissible dose. There will be barrier, shielding. If chest X is to be taken, you will see that gonads are protected. So that is the way a important structures are protected when the other structures are radiographed. The second are the collimations. You will follow the strict discipline of collimation so that only the required part will be exposed. Now let us go to the shoulder, shoulder joint proper. What are the indication? Indications are trauma to the shoulder joint, arthritis, then there is suspected neoplasm around or of the bone of the joint, then pre and post operative measurement of the joint repair, pre operative for designing the operation, post operatively to know how the things are going on. Now what is the patient's position? Patient is kept in a supine or sitting with the arm position as per the interest. What it means is the thumb position. It can be neutral or it can be externally rotated depending on the structure of humerus you want to have a look. Whether it is greater trochan, whether it is greater tuberosity, lesser tuberosity or a neck which is either surgical or of the anatomical neck. So depending on that we give angulations. Now central ray is over the shoulder joint, very easy, very easy to palpate, very easy to see also and it should be perpendicular to the cassette. Now whatever angles we need to give, we need give it to the patient. We elevate opposite shoulder but the cassette and a central ray relation is unchanged. Bucky is optional but most of the time it is not used because the radiography part we are imaging is of less thickness. But sometimes a shoulder is also imaged along with the clavicle and also lower cervical spine to assess for the cervical ribs. So these 
should not be included but if at all they have to be included then a bucky is preferred otherwise shoulder joint only we use without bucky non bucky for if there is a dr cassette then absolutely no need for any of these things now what are the important point shoulder joint in ap projection view should be should be with internal rotation that is the hand position if we rotate then we'll get different this thing and the entire shoulder is rotated in other words with forearm and hands so there are three things which can be rotated one thing is the axis that is the opposite shoulder can be elevated second are the internal rotation of the humerus that is assured with the help of thumb position internal or external and all these things are important when sometime we are going to classify subluxations to diagnose them or to know a proper positioning of the implants so for that reason a radiograph of shoulder has maximum or many angulation and they need to be studied before taking the radiograph the central may pass through the region of the coracoid process which can easily be palpated the angle of rotation of the body up to 15 to 20 degree produces a better profile view of the glenoid forces so if glenoid fossa glenoid process they have to be seen you have to elevate opposite shoulder so that the entire scapula will be parallel to the table will touch the table and the thumb position will be upward that will give us a best relation of the glenoid and the head now sandbags may be used to mobilize the patient or else patient asked to grip the table edge our practice is to ask patient to hold the paper, uh, the table edge which by and large suffices and patient can give a good position but in case of traumatic patient sometime either a bolster or a sandbag may be inserted so that patient will be stable here the all diagrammatic illustrations about it now how a beautifully taken shoulder joint shows a clavical coracoid process acromion process glenoid cavity scapula and humerus what is not seen in this is the coracoid process which comes in a ap direction so it is not well projected for that we will have to change the angulation and we will have to go for a axial so we must see what was the indication or which are the anatomical part to be seen in that x ray and depending on that we can design the radiography now here you have to get patient below the central ray centering as i told you Should is very easy to pro, uh, feel uh, acromion process now see the hand position see the neck position thumb has to be up so that it's a neutral position you can get proper instruction to the patient whether he is getting any pain or not needs to be taken by the technician while he is taking the radiograph now see he is elevating opposite side shoulder this can either be done by holding a edge of the table if patient can be stable by himself that's also is okay otherwise a sandbag might have to be used for this now this is a cassette which is uh, placed that is a dr cassette which is placed and everything is set for the exposure so it's fine the exposure is taken and the x-rays are over now here we are seeing two projections now if you see the greater to bearosity you can know the rotation of the thumb whether it is inside or outside so also a care is taken here to center it on a acromion process while the second one has got inclusive of cervical spine as it is obviously seen that there is a pathology of cervical spine so it is a just not a correct technique but sometime it can gives you a idea about that so also if you want to know the clavicle especially if you are suspecting any history of trauma is there or if any uh, patient's pain is there so we try to include that organ that part while taking a radiograph in that way as i told you a bucky is used or a larger cassette is used so it is fine to read your shoulder it's better if you can give some other ideas but whenever such additional pathologies are detected they again go for the specialized x ray like in this patient you will have to go a specialized x ray cervical spine ap like for the bony cervical rib and for the clavicle there are special views which will be covered in some different lectures so these are important things and these are to be seen by technologist while talking to patient he should get the history and after getting the history he should implement it 
to get a better record or to give a better uh, access to the radiologist so that patient can be benefited of the pathologies now let's come to the secondary the axial projection what are the indications now again trauma arthritis suspected neoplasm pre post operative assessment of the patient here again the important fact is the patient's pain if patient's pain is there sometime this xa is difficult to take now in this projection what we see is the rotation of the hand also then patient need to give uh, the humerus has to be away from the lateral aspect of body all these things has to be seen before taking x ray whether patient is doing all these things whether there is any painful element in it or if patient is finding some difficulty the technique may be modified since there are two techniques one thing is supine and second is in sitting position both can be done now what are the important point in axial joint of the shoulder the arm is kept in external rotation see the importance arm is kept with an external rotation that is a thumb is of straight goes down or externally rotated while the forearm forearm and head are adjusted and supported in comfortable position so this is a very important thing patient has to bear it or he has to tell before that he can do it or he cannot do it the central ray is directed through the axilla to the region of the acromioclavicular joint the arm should be abducted as near as possible to a right angle with respected to the long axis of the body so this is another thing which patient if it is post operative patient if any repetitive surgeries are done if there is a traumatic patient this position sometimes is difficult to give in that case we have to modify the technique or we have to amend the procedure but it needs to be checked before patient taking for an x-ray it is important to push the cashier against the patient's neck as far as possible to obtain a maximum visualization of scapula so scapula then corrector process acromioclavicular joint the needs to be better seen in this so you have to push that near the the first shows you a angulation which is for the ap so first line diagram shows you how a ap is taken and a second diagram shows you how a lateral or axial is taken by true sense it is not a lateral it's a axial so in ap patient is making 45 degrees you have seen it now if patient cannot make it then you have to make the angle with the cassette this we are again and again emphasizing that patient's clinical conditions are important here because patient cannot turn what we have done is we have elevated the cassette makes the same thing the scapula should be in touch with the cassette in ap that is the first and second is the axilla see the relation how they are going so again the basic principle is maintained that is the cassette this is the cassette and the perpendicular ray this is the cr has to be perpendicular to each other so that the basic principle thumb rule of radiology a incident ray has to be perpendicular to cassette is achieved now what you see in that you can see the clavicle you can see the corrector process then acromion process greater tuberosity glenoid humerus and surgical neck anatomical neck surgical neck both will be seen in this now let's see how it is taken on a video see the where is the cassette's position is towards the neck now here is important to pull the cassette as much near neck as possible so that proper head position is maintained second if you are finding patient too much near the table there is a bolster or pillow given be behind so that a proper view of shoulder joint is achieved because sometimes the tube is slightly higher up and it will be difficult to get a proper projection that way elevation of shoulder joint is done with the help of bolster behind the shoulder joint so that was a axial view this is the second method by which the same exercise can be taken here the patient is in sitting position here we need to have a better stable position so that the angle like this for us it is routine to take patient's position in same way here you have to adjust right from the stool height a stool should be properly heighted so that a cassette and the shoulder joint 
will not have space in between and yes it is correct now he has to see that the centering is done over the shoulder joint so a tube is adjusted neck is adjusted and cassette is pushed as much towards the body as possible yes angulation may be required sometime but not necessarily all the time in that you can get equally good axial projection of shoulder joint again we are showing with a different patient same technique how to take a axial ha huh. see so that is thing you should ask patient whether he has got a painful shoulder joint both the videos are well describing how a axial projection is taken that's fine position position fine central ray is well seen centering is well done and the x-ray is over now it, you are seeing it here here the advantage of uh, dr you can immediately see this we are showing because this is the same patient whose x-rays are taken and here you are seeing a perfect axial in which a choreographic process acromion process head everything is well seen what you see here is a choreographic glenoid acromion humerus then tuberosities are also well seen in lesser and greater both the things with this we are coming to end of shoulder joint imaging there are lot of different type of projections there are lot of modification which technician has to do so what you should do first understand the indication understand what a clinician want what are the radiographic projection we have with us okay what are the modification we can do to the x-ray tube to the angulation to the patient's position all these things need to be considered and that will give a best result there are two ends one thing is that radiologist end you will have to give a proper anatomical imaging and the other hand you have got a patient who has got limitation in movement who has got painful uh, movements or who has got difficulty in giving particular position to the uh, technologist in all these thing a technician manages to give a radiologist the best possible picture so it's very important that they should be versed with the anatomy they should be versed with the patient's problem they should have good communication with the patient where patient can express his difficulty to them and that can give the best result because they can give the best film to the radiologist and radiologist can give them the correct diagnosis with all this i thank you for giving me your valuable time please note radiological is not a process it's it is not a race but it is a process radiology is not a race but it is a process be a part of it and enjoy the feast of knowledge i am dr anil joshi logging off till we meet again it is also my duty to acknowledge with thanks and gratitude our mentors that is a management of bldea dim university all this work is done in the medical college hospital of c bm patel hospital medical college and research center vijayapur the staff of radiology department has actively participated in it to make it a complete process and a it department and photography department has taken it to the aid without them it would not have been possible for me to complete this uh, small presentation which is going to help lot of uh, technicians and who are going to benefit lot of patients in future thank you take care and give you your best to the patients